Hi there folks, Mark Ray, Friday, Instagram live time. I'm here to talk about the Caterpillar Club again, the soundtrack, making music to accompany a novel. And um, today I want to be talking about uh, chapter 33, Curtains and Infrared. And um, we're going to be talking about audio psychogeography. And um, that's a pretty interesting concept. So let's look at what it means to me and in the process of making music technically without any samples. So I used to DJ, um, a couple of times I got the chance to DJ in Moscow at a place called Club Cult. Hi Alex and all the crew over there. And of course, as any, <clears throat> any break uh, digger, hunter would do, you go and buy some Russian records to sample. So I've got all these crazy like Zodiac, Russian disco stuff. Um, I mean, anything that's got a dog on the front cover like that, you're gonna buy immediately, aren't you? Just to make a t-shirt out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so quite a few by this band Zodiac. But I bought this one here that I was just playing on the intro. And I think they're called Berlin Metro, and the track's called French Resist, or the album's called French Resistance. So I came home and I thought, you know, I was going to make a beat out of that really dark intro that I just played you there, but I thought, no, give it a rest, mate. Life's dark enough as it is. So anyway, I um, took the drums off this to start this demo called French Resistance. So let's have a listen. Long intros, these. Oh. Okay, so there's one bar there available, right? So I looped that. It's not exactly what I'd normally go for, but remember, we're talking about audio psychogeography here. I'm trying to put something together. This band are channeling some things here to do with the Russian Revolution and then the French resistance in World War II. I'm liking that. So remember, I'm building this psychogeography for writing a novel. So. I start, and this is, remember these processes are here about watching how demos develop over time, okay? So it's taken me five years to make this soundtrack and also five years to write the novel. But basically, I want to show you how I ended up with the finished track. Um, sometimes you actually lose things that when you listen back, you're like, actually, I, I prefer aspects of that, but you couldn't finish it. So I just want to show you that this process because um, it'll be helpful for other people who make beats and just also around the concept of art and how um, difficult it is to actually drive things over the finish line. Okay, so French Resistance, you heard the drums at the beginning here. This is what my first demo was of that. Where are we? Well, it's not playing because it's not switched over. Here we go. Hear those drums. It's rough, okay, because it's not finished, but I want you to, to detect here is I'm playing with synths. I'm beginning the process of going on this electronic journey of making European-centric music to match the soundtrack to this novel. Okay, so that was uh, French Resistance Part 1, based on this M Moscow based band called uh, Berlin Metro. Okay, then it went to this. Same drums. This is probably... Okay, so playing with strings and, as you can see, much more of a European palette and very regimented, you know, um, and without swing. So, basically, that uh, this track, French Resistance, I, have, I went into what was called a, a part two mode, where I removed the origins of it completely and then chose a sound from an omnisphere called Bergein which uh, basically will start to spell out the mood of this track from this point onwards. So let's have a listen to that. And it's like an arpeggiated but played as a chord, so it's chasing after itself all over the place. Kind of 
lot of reverb and echo, like I was saying, uh, psychologically about bringing the past, talking about the past, it, 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 it's throwing itself forward into the future. Okay, and um, there's a, there are samples in here, and I'll let them be known because I don't think they'll come after me. Um, if they do, well, good luck to you. Um, last night a DJ saved my life. Drums are here. Then just underneath my other drums, let's add in the other drums I added. Okay, so that's in deep. Extra hat, extra kick, extra kick, extra snare, and then in kind of extra clap, and we will have our drums built up. Here we go. Okay, percussion. Okay, bass. So you can see there's elements of like clubbing and sort of maybe you could almost say dark for lyric, but it's very European. I subconsciously took Kraftwerk as a reference because what I'd like to call a zero hour whereby when people are faced with complete changes in life, they have to redefine who they are, yeah. Okay, whoops. Okay, let's uh, bring it back a bit so you can see um, what else is going on. In the chorus, I've got a very European melody. Uh, what else? I've got these uh, more omnispheres. I'm very into the omnisphere. And Nexus as well. This is for all the people who like synths. Okay, let's have a little listen to them on their own and see what's happening. So that's the lead line. It's quite clubby really in a way, yeah? But... Also, perhaps the sort of uh, echo of um, 1970s uh, electronic uh, synthesizer-led science program theme tunes. Let me, I haven't done it this time, okay? So this is, uh, once again, the soundtrack, the words and the music. Chapter, 40, chapter 33, um, the main protagonist has been asked to do a remix for this uh, youngster and gets invited to Soho. Um, even though he's physically injured, to go and talk about it. Okay, so these are the words. Great to see you again in Soho after all these years. I've included a link to the stem parts for that pesky remix we talked about. The accounts department had given me the go-ahead to pay you the £200 up front. Because basically there's a, there's a, a narrative thread in this novel of a remix uh, going um, slightly awry based on the concept of sampling. So those are the words. I've talked you through bits and bobs of um, the equipment used. That was chapter 33, curtains and infrared. There's a bit of an incident in the night involving the need to use an infrared camera. So anyway, it's Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Mark Ray talking about the Caterpillar Club soundtrack. The novel's coming in September. The vinyl and slip mat are out there now. Thank you all for the support, and I'm out. This is the good thing about this one is I don't know how to turn it off. Hee <laughs> hee! Uh.